What's up guys? So I'm getting ready to go to my last shift before we go on our July 4th vacation. Um, so let me go get my clothes now. Lisa is in the kitchen cooking right now. She didn't like my idea of just warming up something, right? So that we could spend more time together. She insisted that she must give me a home cooked meal. And it sounds like, what are you complaining about, right? But she spent the time that we could have spent together cooking said home cooked meal. So that she can say, I made your home cooked meal. You're not gonna see a lot of me, I think, this vlog because I'll be at work. Um, but keep me in mind, keep me in your thoughts. Maybe you might get um, a drive home um, vlog soon. I don't know how much you guys like or um, endure those. Home cooked meals <laughs> on a budget. What are they calling? Um, why people call on a budget? Like, I get it, but at the same time, there's, there's something culturally significant about it. This was asking, so she was watching the Mitchells, meet the Mitchells, um, Wayne Marshall and, and Tamich in them. And she was saying something about putting. What is it? Coconut milk into yeah. it? So I Yo, culturally I find it weird like that we are so far off base because to me that's very, there. very different. Added this, so we'll see if, the, at least the flavor profile. And then somebody is going to tell me how I'm weird that I don't know that them put yes. coconut uh, uh, milk into the, I, I don't know. Jamaicans, I feel like we need to get on the same page here. Anyway, um, let me go get ready. Get your child, get your child, please. Let's look at Lisa's jeans at work. Yeah, the drama. Lisa, come get your child. Just go upstairs. Bruh. So you already know the plan for tomorrow or for this weekend. Dan kind of gave you privy to that. So this weekend we're going to be going to Disney World. We're staying at the Boardwalk Villas. We're going July 1st through the 5th. So I'm going to see how <laughs> the vlogging scheduling goes. Might be, we might just be kind of pushing out some mini vlogs of what we're doing um, on our vacation. We're not doing any park um, days until the last day. Our Pirate Pass is blocked from July 1st through the 4th. So we'll be doing a lot of like jumping around to the different resorts. We'll be doing a lot of pool days at our resort. Um, it was a DVC points um, purchase that we did through a third party. The process was pretty smooth. When I looked online for this weekend, just for a regular like standard um, room, it was almost $2,300 prior to tax. So I know. But we actually paid, I think, $1,200 for a five-day, four-night vacation. So, really good deal. I will, you know, I will try my best to kind of post the exact prices and all that. So, you know, when we get to the hotel, I'll probably in the next vlog tell you exactly the rundown of how much we spent. Um, especially with our meals and stuff like that. You know, I like to do that and tell you guys what we spent. But today, I am... I know, I, last minute, I really should have been, like, done packing and all that stuff. But, like I said, worst case scenario, we live pretty close. So if we forget something, we can always come back home. Um, and we know the general area well enough now that we can go to a store and purchase something if we forgot it. But really nothing is that serious, really. Um, but I'm just picking out clothes, my toiletry bag in here, ready to go. I literally just add, like, my makeup, which, to be honest, I hardly wear makeup at Disney. <laughs> because i sweat easily um people are like oh use a setting spray and you know maybe i need to invest in a good setting spray but makeup melts off of me because i wipe my face i touch my face i'm sweating it just is not a cute thing so i usually don't wear that much makeup to disney but i always carry my makeup just in case uh, just for like a couple pictures and then that's about it but um my toilet shoe bags are already set so i just need to pull that stuff um i need to pull together some outfits for dan <laughs> Yes, I am that woman that will pack for my husband because if I don't, he's going to forget something and then he's going to be like, well, why didn't you pack this? 
it is what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dan is really good about like um, just kind of letting me kind of take the reins of like what he's gonna wear. He's 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 purchased half of these clothes himself. Um, I already packed for myself pretty much. <laughs> I already laid out my outfits. I'm usually the key person, and then I try to match with Kellen, and then make Dan <laughs> match with him. It doesn't always work. Um, usually Dan and and Kellen they really do kind of match um together a lot. That's my my doing. But um, Dan does the shoes and stuff like that. I make him pick out his shoes because I I'm just not that good with men's shoes like that but the clothing I could kind of help him with that so I'm gonna pull some outfits and then he kind of tells me yes or no no I don't want to wear this or no this is too tight yada 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 so that's what we're doing and then I need to fix my hair I'm gonna probably try my best to do some fat twists I am going to condition it and do all that pretty pretty stuff and then finish packing and then a bedtime routine and then some time for myself Yay! Yeah. So, hair feels really soft. Um, I did with a TPH mask on, and then I used some of my um, oldies but goodies. This one is the Giovanni Smooth as Silk, as well as this one is the Giovanni Tea Tree Triple Threat. So I left it in my hair um, for about an hour or so. This is like just a bit of the process. I'm gonna comb this out, wash it out, and I'm gonna continue using some more of the TPH items. Shampoo, it's, it's watery, but I like that. It smells really nice, this is the Master Cleanse. And then the other one is the conditioner I'm gonna follow with, is the mint condition. Um, so this is literally just not even halfway through. Oh, the shrinkage is real. Good morning, beautiful people, I hope you slept well. I am refreshed and ready for our vacation. So today is actually vacation day. It is Friday. So when you're seeing this, we are literally like, should be at the hotel. So um, I have finished packing. Literally this whole smorgasbord of clothing <laughs> is what's supposed to be in the suitcase. But the suitcases um, are out. They just not packed. <laughs> so I have all my outfits. Kellen's outfits are out, um, Dan's outfits, I'm just kind of waiting to figure those out, but he's sleeping now. He's going to probably wake up maybe 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and then, you know, we can get going. But, I went downstairs. I don't know where Dan got it from. Really don't care. Um, I'm going to find out after I eat it. When it comes to fruit, I don't need to wait and find out where it came from and all that, but it is passion fruit and it is so nice and sweet. A little bit of tartness um i'm in love so to whoever gave this to dan i appreciate it it makes me feel like a uh, home that like that's one of the um great things about like south florida you have so many people that are from the different um cultures so you have your haitians you have your um, filipinos you have your cubans like everybody comes with their like own thing to bring um in the morning <laughs> in the morning to give to the night shift so like um we had a, a nurse that would bring pears um avocado um we had someone that would bring mangoes and we had someone that used to bring these huge mangoes like the size of your head and they were so sweet so i miss those days um definitely but it's nice that dad has found a group of people that are doing that and making you feel like oh yay day shift cares about night shift so i'm gonna go eat this this is gonna be a part of my breakfast but like I said, I'm trying to finish packing so we can get the fun started. Okay, so really quickly, we're trying to run out of the house. It's like 6.30, we have a reservation. So we're running behind and stuff. So we're trying to get the stuff to get into the car and get out of here. Kellen's actually sitting in the car, the car is on. Um, really quickly, I was leaving work and right in front of where we park at work i saw this to my caribbean people to my jamaican people i've never seen this up here so in case you don't know what this is this is cersei now this might not be a big deal to a lot of people but to me it's a huge deal because i've never actually seen it in the u.s so just wanted to share that little fact before i run out anyway let's get this weekend started starting off a little bit shaky just because it's raining and like I said, we're running behind, but I know once we get there, 
we'll just get into vacation mode. So we're going to get my watch and let's be out. Hello everyone. So I'm actually back at the car. So had to go come and retrieve you guys from the car. As you can see, the skyline is in the background. We are at the boardwalk. So this is Kellen's second stay at a Disney Resort. Kellen only knows these elite ones. He doesn't know the struggles of of uh, of staying at like All Stars and Pop Century. He only knows the the, the top line ones. So he's been at the Beach Club in the DVC, and now he's going to be for his second stay at the Boardwalk in the DVC rooms. We are in on our second stay in the dvc rooms and there is a significant um element of an upgrade there the room size is not overly large we didn't get like a two bedroom or anything like that but the game changer is the microwave the refrigerator as you guys will see when we get into the room and stuff is fair fair enough size but like, like i said the microwave and that little kitchenette area just changes your stay so well because you know when you go to these restaurants and you carry home something you're not waiting until your entire trip is over or trying to walk around the whole, whole, whole hotel trying to find somewhere to warm up your food it's about eight something now which we have a reservation pretty soon so i'm trying to make it back to the room to change we're going to flying fish so of late and i mean like really recently late i've been into this like i see like a pine cone i'm like oh i should save that um or there's i think magnolia is coming up here on the side and i don't know what disney's rules are about their trees i'm not trying to get in anybody's in any trouble so i would never take anything from disney property as far as like one of these seeds I would just say I would like to have a tree like that and if I can procure one of the pine cones or seedlings or anything like that I will definitely be doing that anyway enough of all my chit chatter let me give you some of the view that you can enjoy as the Sun is now setting in these long days of summer <laughs> So right over there is where the guest parking is if you're not valeting. Of course, if you're valeting, they're either gonna park you up by the boardwalk sign up here, or they'll park it for you down there. Um, funny enough, this is the parking I'm most used to because when we come to visit the boardwalk, that's where we usually park. So almost out of habit, I went over there. There's a good shot of one of the buses wrapped with our boy goofy and that is the approach to the boardwalk so one of the things that I actually like about the boardwalk um, is something that I think not a lot of people are necessarily going to say is their favorite thing about the boardwalk and agree with me. But what I like about the boardwalk is it has that it has the Disney charm, obviously. Right. But it has that ever so slight, slightly creepy vibe to it. Um, you'll see as I'll probably try to stay awake and do like a midnight tour or probably later than midnight when the hotel won't be so busy we'll go look at the creepy chairs and just some of the stuff it's very old school which is what they're going for that old style boardwalk but there's a slight ever so slight charm to that the kind of stuff you'd get in like the older Halloween stuff Disney used to do or um, just the charm of like uh, 
like a Christmas ghost story kind of style thing. Not something overly scary, but just something just enough to cause a, a little bit of excitement. You know, a little, little creep factor is what I say I like about it. I'm being weird, I know, but give you guys some more of the tour. So here's the steps. Anyway, let me get upstairs before I uh, drive Lisa totally insane. Like I said, I'll give you guys a better tour and show you guys a little bit more of the stuff in uh, what I'm calling a midnight, but probably be later than that, like a witching hours kind of tour when it's a little, a little bit more empty. We'll go check out the creepy, um, the creepy chairs um, and just go look at more of that kind of like for folklore for uh, the boardwalk. So as I said, we are staying up in the villas, which we actually lucked out. Lisa did her research very well. Um, she wanted to stay in 305 I think it is, but we're actually in 3063, which is right next door. And you'll see from later on in the vlog, um, it has a, a little bit bigger balcony, the room that she was aiming for, but we're virtually next door, still by the courtyard. We can't watch a movie from the room, but we can still kind of oversee the courtyard. Um, and the noise cancellation of the room is very good. I got to give them credit on that. So, so far, so good. I am impressed uh, with what we've seen so far in the boardwalk. Anyway, let's get upstairs and get changed and hit the flying fish. Real quick. So, there's the swan. Um, I'm a fan of the swan uh, for a stay. I am super, super pissed that they took out the creepy clown off of the, the uh, pool, as I said um, about three or four times. Those little slightly creepy things are the things that I liked about the boardwalk. Um, I get it, people were kind of creeped out by it. That might have been a little bit too much creep factor. Now this, it seems to be like a kind of like a shared balcony. You can just kind of come out and look at the pool, but Disney locked it. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm sure it's for some kind of liability reason, but I feel like it's a missed opportunity because that's something that you can just go out and get a nice view of. Um, if I could get out there, I would blog from there for you guys as well. So. A bit of a missed opportunity. Um, yeah, so we're actually, as I get the chance to remember this, we're only like three doors away from the elevator area, which is already a nice, um, a nice enough distance from the elevator, so you're not hearing the elevator all night. But we're just far enough to be nice and secluded, not have everybody have to walk past our room. Um, but. Love, I think it's one of a kind There's something special about your love I want it all the time You will always be my inspiration